Yes, okay, so um, good afternoon, everyone. It's already 6 p.m., at least local time. Uh, I believe that we will wait, I don't know, for half a minute and we will start because, you know, always people are uh, joining, uh, joining in last moment. So uh, we are waiting for half a minute. Okay, so um, I believe we shall start. I see that some people are joining, but in any case, the time is our value, and therefore we're beginning our exclusive presentation. And um, as you probably catch, we are representing Transport and Telecommunication Institute. Therefore, we are greeting everyone who has decided and made the decision to join our presentation. We really believe that this presentation will be useful and valuable for you, and you will find the answers for almost uh, all questions which probably you have in your mind. If not, uh, after all our presentations, it will be uh, a session for questions and answers. And I really believe that we will do uh, our best. So uh, today we are going to talk about, in my opinion, a unique proposal in Latvian and not only in Latvian, but also in the Baltic States market. We are going to talk about a master level study program in data analytics and artificial intelligence. And I believe one of the value of this study program is that this program is a double degree study program, which we have organized together with our UK partner, UV Bristol. So the agenda for today will be following one. Uh, it will be a very short notes about the industry of uh, data analytics and artificial intelligence from my colleague, Dmitry Pavlyuk. So uh, he is, I would state he is guru in data analytics and artificial intelligence. He is uh, conducting a lot of research in this field, but in the same time, he tries always to apply, let's say, knowledge for industry. And this one is a great value. So uh, one more time, I am presenting my colleague, Professor um, Dmitry Pavlyuk. So Dmitry, the floor is your, and please, uh, if you could share a presentation. Okay, uh, at least I am able to see the presentation. Okay, yeah, thank you, Mikhail. Yeah, thank you for the floor. And uh, good afternoon, everybody. Yeah, it's my pleasure to be here with you and to present you our, our new master double degree program in computer science. And actually I'm going to present the domain of the master program. It's data analytics and artificial intelligence. Uh, actually, probably we all heard these words because artificial intelligence is a buzzword right now. And uh, some of us are using artificial intelligence in our life. For example, we are talking with our phones, we are using chatbots, yeah, or we are looking at uh, very smart uh, advertisement in social media. Yeah, but uh, uh, actually when we develop a new program, a new master program, we look into employment in this area. And what we can say about the employment here, actually we can look in several uh, market analysis and we'll find out that artificial intelligence and data analytics tools are extremely powerful. Uh, if we'll just look into current technology, currently developed methods, models, and applications, 
according to McKinsey, it will uh, it, it's already ready to uh, cover 45% of work activities we have right now in economics. If we will slightly improve artificial intelligence tools, and it will be better in the understanding and communicating with human, uh, it will cover another 13%. So uh, it looks like that more than a half of uh, employment positions will be replaced by artificial intelligence, machines, models, and analytics. But does it mean that uh, we don't need people for this? Of course not. Yeah, in our opinion, and this is general opinion, that uh, artificial intelligence can only augment the human one, but not to replace it. Yeah, we still need for human, but not for any human intelligence. We need for human who will understand and will be able to use uh, artificial intelligence tools and analyze the data. So looking into the current, uh, current situation, uh, what we can say yeah, about uh, current adoption of artificial intelligence tools uh, in industry, we can say it extremely low. Yeah, only 7% of enterprises just use something from artificial uh, intelligence applications. Something means that they connected, for example, uh, a chatbot to their um, social media account. Yeah, it's only 7% do this. Uh, only 30% of uh, manufacturers just using any digital uh, systems for AI operations. And uh, this data from Eurostat for the previous year, and this values is extremely low. So from our opinion, what we have right now, uh, we are ready, yeah, we are currently locating in the beginning of a new industrial revolution. Yeah, it's actually the fourth industrial revolution already. Uh, we already have the tools, yeah, the power loom, yeah, for our new tools. And this tool, uh, this uh, tool, this artificial intelligence tool, uh, will allow us to increase our productivity by a factor of 100. So instead of one people, uh, no, instead of 100 people, we'll need for one uh, very professional, very highly educated person who will be able to understand how artificial intelligence works, will be able to work with data, make the decisions and apply it to make a profit and reach our business needs. So this is the person who we are going to prepare within our master program. So what are the main skills which are required on the market right now? Actually, uh, the market, the industry requires the skills of learning. So your ability to learn something new, new which just appeared on the market and something which uh, never, it was difficult to uh, imagine a couple of years ago. I require some technological skills, but these technological skills are related just to use of new technologies. Of course, you need to understand the general ideas behind the data analytics models and so on. But the main skill here is just the use of these technologies for your business needs. And the last set of skills is related to analytical and problem solving skills. Yeah, you need to read the data yeah, to communicate with artificial intelligence tools, to communicate with machine learning models and so on. Plus, these highly uh, professional uh, people, I hope it will be you uh, after graduation from our new master program, um, will be ready to communicate with artificial intelligence and even to develop something new in this area, which is also very exciting. And uh, this is not just numbers from, from the world or from the Europe, it's already here. Yeah, it's already here. And uh, in uh, Transport Telecommunication Institute, we are working in this direction and quite successfully. And uh, we developed and, and defending some master thesis. And this is one of examples which was recently defended here. This is just a chatbot. We all know uh, that uh, we can use artificial intelligence for our communications, but uh, usually these communications are not very intelligent. 
how to do, how to make them more intelligent. We need to teach uh, the uh, artificial intelligence model to remember the context. Yeah, and this uh, learning will allow um, us to use it in more intelligent ways. For example, when my wife asking me about uh, what are my plans for the weekend, uh, it seems that we'll go into something mm, exciting holiday somewhere. But if my boss is asking me what is my plan for the holidays, the same question, but different context, probably it means that we will work. So uh, this is um, just a simple example from the recent development of uh, in artificial intelligence area here in Transplant Communication Institute. Yeah, and uh, there is a plenty of power works in this direction. And I will be happy to share this with you. And uh, just a short uh, introduction of the domain. And let's, let's start our journey in this direction together. Yeah, you're all invited. You're all invited to this exciting world. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dmitry, thank you very much. Again, the task for Dmitry was to introduce the domain of uh, data analytics and artificial intelligence. So uh, the next presentation, which I believe by volume is a very short one, but I believe by, uh, by the context, really very, very rich, is dedicated to a um, new study program, which is data analytics and artificial intelligence. Uh, just give me a second to share uh, to share my screen to share the presentation. So and may I launch it, uh, Dmitry? Could you please confirm that the slides are here? Yeah. Okay. So uh, actually, the second bullet of our agenda is really to talk about uh, about the study program uh, to discuss all the issues which are related with the study program. So uh, actually, first of all, I would like to underline that a study program is provided to you as double degree study program. So actually a study program by itself is a result of very close and continuous collaboration between free institutions between three entities. And the academic part uh, of the study program is presented by Transport and Telecommunication Institute and uh, by the University uh, of Bristol, so-called uh, UV uh, University of West of England. But we also have an industrial partner in frame of our program because again, by itself, a study program is very targeted to the industry and the industrial company is a company with a title well known around the world, Deloitte. So the product, the study program, which you will see today is a result of close collaboration of not only the universities, but also, uh, also the representatives of the business. So first of all, of course, the question is, who is UVI? So you are just stating, you are just demonstrating as the logo, but who is UVI? In general, of course, you could find a lot of information uh, in the UVI website, which, is, uh, which could be seen in a slide, but I would like to know that UVI is a modern university, which is located in UK in the city of Bristol. It has a really huge amount of the students, but I believe, I believe that um, the amount by itself is not the key issue. The key issue here, different kind of uh, awards and nominations. And as you see, the university is, qu is, is, is quite famous and very well evaluated, not only in UK, but also around the world. And here the different ratings and awards 
which obtained by by uh, our UK partner. And I believe the most valuable, uh, at least other partners in UVI are saying, is a teach, go, uh, teaching excellence framework and our partners are having the gold status. This one demonstrates a high quality of education and high quality of the study programs. So uh, actually, when we are talking about double degree study program, it should be clear for you that after successful completion of the study program, you will get not one over, not one diploma, but you will get two overs and you will get two diplomas. So a one will be granted by Transport and Telecommunication Institute. And as you see, it will be a master in a computer science with a specialization in data analytics and artificial intelligence. And uh, an hour, and our certificate or diploma will be granted by University of West of England. And again, the diploma will state that they are awarding you Master in Computer Science and uh, it will be stated Data Analytics and Artificial Intelligence. So sometimes people are asking us, will it be uh, stated in a certificate, in a diploma, that a study process has been organized in Latvia or whatever. So will it be any, you know, hints, notes, uh, stars somewhere? No, in general, no. It will be the same diploma as UVI overding to the students who completed the study process in a UK. So, uh, of course, we should talk and we should discuss what are the benefits uh, of the study program we are proposing. So, first of all, but I have already noted that by the end you will get two diplomas, you will get, uh, you will get, um, you will get two awards. So the timing, the timing we are proposing is one and a half year and two years. A bit later, I will uh, try to explain you what is the difference. The next point, which shall be, shall be stated, but I believe Dmitry already did a good job explaining that data analytics and artificial intelligence is really very hot domain. Right now, any company requires people who are able to work with the data and make the decisions, not only the IT companies, but any companies from any domain. So the third point which should be mentioned that our study program includes four modules, four courses, which we have adopted from our UK partners. So they are listed in a presentation and what means adopted, that they will be provided based on materials and methodics which, which are used in the University of West of England. Of course, it should be clear that we are not able to provide you double degree diploma without following the UK quality teaching standards. Therefore, the study process will be organized and will be completed considering uh, considering quality standards, because we have also adopted not only courses, not only modules, not only materials, but also the quality standard. I have uh, I have already presented our uh, our partner Uvi, so I will not take uh, to, I, I will not talk anymore uh, about our partner. But again, I would like to uh, emphasize that this university is recognized around the world. So the next point which I would like to state that it's very, I would say, really very unique opportunity to change your career path into an IT field. Because I believe the pandemic demonstrated very well the sustainability of the uh, companies, of the jobs. And while some of the companies uh, had a headache uh, about what to do, where to find the clients. IT companies uh, even rise the number of employees because a significant number of projects dedicated to digitalization has been completed during the pandemic of COVID.
As I have stated, the study program is very linked to the industry. And a bit later on, I will try to demonstrate you how we are involving our industrial partners. In frame of this program, we are going to involve a lot and intensively international teaching staff. And as the last point, which could go also to the benefit that, and this one should be emphasized, that joining the study program, you are becoming a student of two universities in the same time. So meaning that you will be a student of TCI and you will be the student of the University of West of England. What does it mean? It means that you will have an ability to access different kind of online resources published by UV, like a software repository, library, different kind of webinars and events which are organized by, by, by our partner UVI. So now it's time to discuss a bit a study program which we, which we are presenting. So this one is um, a feature which presents, in my opinion, very well what, what, what to expect from the study program. So first of all, I would like to point your attention that a study program is provided in two variants, in two options. We are calling them long and short. A bit later, I will explain how to get to short, how to get to long. But uh, according to the picture here, you see that the difference is in uh, duration of the study. So long is for two years, a short for one and a half year. And the difference is actually that for long study program, we are having a semester, which we are calling a pre-master semester, and this one semester is required to enrich you with skills, knowledge, and competences in a field of programming, in a field of databases, in a field of modern and uh, advanced information technologies. So the core of the program is actually such modules like data mining, uh, data protection, uh, critical thinking and the specialization, which actually defines the scope of the whole program uh, presented by four big modules, which are business intelligence and data visualization, uh, project management, machine learning and predictive analytics. And I believe, in my opinion, that most valuable is interdisciplinary group project. And of course, there are some electives uh, which are presented here. And by the end, it will be the defense of the master thesis. And usually the people are asking, should we defend the master thesis once in TSI and once in a University of West of England? No, you should defend the master thesis only once here in Transport and Telecommunication Institute but of course, in a defense board, the representatives of the UVI uh, will be presented. So uh, as I have stated, and I believe this one is a very important aspect, that a program is supported by the industry representatives. And a key player and a key partner here is a Deloitte uh, company who is represented by Mr. Igor Rodin. And actually, uh, Mr. Igor Rodin is advisor on IT and, uh, sorry, not IT, but uh, artificial intelligence and data analytics development in, uh, in our university. So what when we are saying industry supports us, does it mean that we have just signed a piece of paper, a contract, and that's it? No, this one is a real support. And I believe that best it is demonstrated when we are talking about into, when we are talking about the course interdisciplinary group project. So we have adopted the course from the UVI, but in the same time, we have adopted the methodology. And this one looks the following, that a project should be completed by the group of, by the group of the students. So who will be, um, who, who will state the problem 
the problem will be stated by the industry. So we will present the pro we will present the problem. We will give uh, a data to uh, to solve the problem. Of course, a TSI will put some academic requirements uh, and guidelines, and of course, support implementation of the project uh, by tutoring. And during during a group project, a student should develop a product, a solution, which will be demonstrated again, not only to academic staff of TSI, but also to our industrial partners. And it will be evaluated uh, by TSI and by the specific industrial partner who has provided the problem. I believe this one is a really very unique opportunity to demonstrate your skills to, in a, to, 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 to business representative to get the portfolio which could be demonstrated to, uh, to the company you would like to join stating, okay guys, here is my portfolio. I have completed the analysis for Deloitte or MSC. So uh, and we, we we are continuing we are continuing to search for industrial partners. Actually, there are four or already four of them, and I would like to note that not all of them are from the IT domain. Uh, the logo of the company MSC is actually a logistics company. Okay. And uh, communicating with them, we have found out that they have a very strong department who deals with data analytics and they are interested in, uh, in this study program. And uh, moreover, to have a people who are able to complete such kind of analysis. So uh, I know the slide which I'm demonstrating right now is very complex one. There are a lot of text. Um, but I believe that we will publish a presentation for public for public access and you will have a chance to read it carefully. But actually the slide here sets the expectations. So what will be your knowledge, skills and competences after completing the study, pro, st st study program? So we are talking about the skill of solving complex program, uh, problems. We are talking about the skill of using data for, uh, for decision support. We are talking about the skills and competence to select, employ, and evaluate different kinds of platforms and tools which are used in data analytics and artificial intelligence. So, of course, you will be teach how to use different, uh, different techniques which are related with statistical analysis, machine learning, and so on. Of course, we are talking about application of uh, different, diff different, different methods and concepts to evaluate the problem and to propose to propose uh, the solution. Of course, of course, the field of data analytics, as Dmitry already presented, require us a lot to communicate with our customers, to present the result to the stakeholders, and therefore you will get the skill to do it in the most effective way. Also, of course, it's very, uh, very necessary to have an ability to complete the analysis and to, uh, to evaluate different technical and economical aspects of the solution we are proposing, which tools will be more effective, which tool will suit uh, to solve the problem for the specific company. Of course, of course, work in a team, it's already must be and therefore we are providing the skill. And of course, as Dmitry stated, it's very important because the field is very hot one, there are a lot of developments. It's very important to, let me use a following phrase, to teach yourself how to teach new technologies and to obtain uh, new valuable knowledge. And, uh, and of course, to, to, to be critical against different technologies, different tools, different approaches. So what kind of positions you will be able to take after completing the study program? So it's very necessary to under, uh, underline that, of course, a list which I'm demonstrating right now, it's not a full list, 
and maybe some of the positions uh, which are demonstrated here, like a data scientist is like the next step uh, in a career, but most probably if you are just doing your first steps in this area, it could be a position in data analytics. And at example, you could launch right now your browser, you could go to a website CVLV and you could find out that really such kind of people are very demanded. So here I did some very, 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 very short analysis and I have found out what are the, uh, what, 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 what companies are looking and what kind of the prices, okay, they're ready to pay you for your, uh, for your skills, knowledge and competences. So who will be the teaching staff? Because I have already mentioned that, uh, of course, a value of a study program is not just a picture. It's exactly the teaching staff who provide you everything. And here I would like to note that uh, most of the teaching staff who are involved in realization of this study program have a very strong background um, uh, theoretical background, but in the same time, they are part of the industry. So my colleague, Neil Rubens, who actually is a senior data scientist in a visa corporation. My valuable colleague, Yelena, who is working in Accenture Baltics, like a data scientist and digital data associate manager. Also, my colleague, whom I already presented, Dmitry Pavluk, uh, who is a leader of this direction, data analytics and artificial intelligence, and who has completed a significant number of projects in this field. So let me go back maybe to a bit, let's say, uh, formal things. Uh, I have presented you that there are two variants of the study program, short one and the long one. So now it's a time to have a bit of uh, discussion um, what, what, what our possibilities and what are the requirements to join the short and to join the long study program. So first of all, I would like to note that right now, uh, right now we are accepting, uh, we are accepting uh, requests only for a long version of the study program, so for two years. And in general, as you could see, according to the scheme, which is demonstrated here, a long study program uh, could be joined by, by the people with different uh, background, with different previous education. So the people from economics field, from management field, logistics, finances, business, uh, and so on. So uh, the program accepting such kind, uh, such kind of requests. In the same time, I also would like to underline that if your previous education is in ICT field, so uh, the requirements becomes a bit more complicated, but I believe that a scheme here demonstrates uh, really very, very, very well uh, what are the options, what are the path. So if your previous education is in ICT area, Next one, you should look to the duration of your, uh, of your previous, previous study program. And if the duration was less than a four year, for example, you have completed it in three years, and actually here is a reference to the number of credit points you have obtained. So again, you are eligible to, uh, to join a long, uh, a long version of the study program. So if your duration of education was four years, and again, this one is a reference to the number of study, pro, study credit points you have uh, obtained. Next one, we will look into the content of your study program, because again, uh, again, um, we should be sure that you will successfully complete our study program. And for example, if in frame of your study program, um, the programming has been provided in a less than six, six credit points, 
uh, and the databases were not provided to you. Yes, at example, the people from electronics, it could be the situation. So again, you are joining the long version of the study program. But if you are a pure person from computer science or uh, uh, from the neighboring field and you had enough of experience in programming and databases, uh, we are welcoming you to, uh, to join a short version uh, of the study program. So again, a bit, comp a bit, a bit, a bit complicated rules, but I hope that uh, they have been explained in, uh, in details. And right now you could put yourself here and you could try to follow and find out which, which version of the study program uh, works for you. So, of course, as I have demonstrated previously, uh, for the long version of the study program, you will have a pre-master, yes, uh, but after the pre-master, you, uh, you are joining the core floor uh, of, the of the study program. So, uh, of course, a very significant question is regarding the prices and special offers. So uh, the price uh, for Latvian and for each international market is demonstrated here. So it's a price per, it's a price per uh, semester, as you could see. But we have a very good news that we are ready. Uh, we are ready to provide a 25% discount for the pre-master semester. Okay, so it will be it will be. Uh, really, uh, uh, really, uh, the price will be really less uh, for you if you are joining the pre-master semester. So you just need to consider. You just need to consider this opportunity and uh, and to try uh, to try yourself. So uh, in general, it was very short, but I believe very intensive. A uh, very intensive introduction to the study program. I hope that uh, we have explained a lot of things related to the study program. But in the same time, I hope that you have questions and you could use a public chat or you could use your microphone to ask me or my colleagues and maybe we could, uh, maybe we, we could try at least to answer them. And uh, also, uh, I would like to state that we are going to start our study process uh, in March, so starting from 1st of March. And if you are interested, you could join our admission study, uh, st uh, the admission system, so you could register yourself and our admission department will take care, uh, will take care about you. So in general, that's it. Uh, right now, if you have any questions, please just ask us. And as I stay, have stated, we will try to answer them. I see some questions in the chat. Yes, I see really a lot of questions. Um, uh, Eva, uh, you were the first one, therefore uh, I will start from the beginning. Uh, of, course, uh, of course, it is possible. Yes, of course it is possible, uh, but in the same time I am putting the comma here. Yes, uh, uh, joining, joining the courses uh, will not allow you to uh, receive uh, to receive two diplomas. So you are just joining the courses, okay? Um, only remotely. Um, in, in general, Sergey, I would uh, answer it in the following way, that a study program we are proposing right now is uh, for full-time students, okay? Um, actually, uh, actually, of course, we would like to see uh, all students here in our auditoriums uh, because, again, a value is really that you are 
uh, what you are in auditorium, what you are communicating with your group, mem group members, value is that you are communicating with the teaching, te teaching staff. Right now, I would answer it in the following way, that right now, uh, considering the situation in TSI, we are providing the classes in a synchronous mode, meaning that we have some, uh, some students in auditorium and some students online, but unfortunately, Sergey, I'm not able to guarantee you that, that if uh, our government will say, that's it, uh, the end of pandemic, please all students go back to the university uh, without considering are you vaccinated or you are not vaccinated. So of course the program will be provided uh, in personal, in auditoriums. Uh, that's uh, uh, yes, it is possible. The question is regarding, is it possible to combine study and a full-time job? I believe it is possible because actually, uh, as I have stated, the study program is, uh, let's say, uh, for full-time students, but the classes we are conducting by, uh, by the evening. And if we have some uh, invited professors, uh, maybe sometimes, again, it's not the rule, Yes, but, uh, but also some classes could be conduct conducted by the Saturday. And also, sorry, maybe I would go back uh, to the question of the Sergei. Uh, as we are having international teaching staff, and you know, right now it's a bit complicated to travel, some of the courses will be conducted in, uh, on, in online mode. So, and uh, of course, in this case, they could be joined in online mode. But our goal, again, to have, uh, to have you in Lomonosova Street 1, to speak with you, to communicate with you. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the name, uh, us, uh, but yes, you could calculate the price has been demonstrated per, uh, per semester. The first, uh, the pre-master goes with a, uh, with a discount. So the calculation could be done. Uh, Angelina uh, asking about, uh, about the timing, I believe, and uh, the schedule. So uh, in general, Angelina, I have already stated that uh, from a master level students, we are organizing the classes by the evening time because mostly they have some job, they have some uh, some of position. Uh, regarding regarding the timing, uh, okay, yes, uh, you are more or less right from six from six to nine. Regarding every day or not. Uh, again, in general, what we are trying to do, how we are trying to plan uh, the schedule that four days, four days um, is the, uh, are dedicated uh, to the study and the last uh, and the last day, usually Friday, uh, is uh, free and we are really hoping that students are using this day to uh, to complete some task, tasks, to complete some works, homeworks, work on a project and so on. Mm -hmm. Yes, Eva, thank you very much. It's my pleasure that I have answered you the question. Um, Angelina, which year student you are? Because in, in general, uh, in general, if you are not having um, the bachelor, the, the bachelor degree, unfortunately, Angelina, right now we are not able to accept you to the study program because a pre-master actually is a part of master study program. So therefore, we need we need really to see your. Uh, your previous uh, your documents about the previous education. Uh, yes, Zita. Uh, the question from Zita, uh, I believe, very uh, very um, let's say uh, very interesting one and very 
uh, hot one. So what will be uh, in each subject? So I would like to state that uh, right now our um, uh, IT team is working uh, about, about about this issue, and we hope that uh, we will publish the information about the content of uh, of the subject uh, by the beginning of uh, by the beginning of next uh, week. Okay. Uh, Armands, uh, as I have mentioned, in general, we are uh, considering that uh, no classes by the weekends. But as I have stated, sometimes as we would like to deliver you the best, sometimes we are inviting really, let's say, busy people from the, from the industry uh, and therefore, sometimes we are putting uh, putting classes by the Saturday. It's not the law. Yes, it's exception uh, in this case, in case of double degree study program. But it could be that, for example, uh, by Saturday in the morning, it will be it, it will be some class. Uh, Ilona, uh, I believe the answer is, uh, my answer would be right now looking to what you have stated, uh, engineer uh, education, uh, it would be, uh, it would be acceptable, but of course we need to see uh, the specific domain and the, con the, the conditions. So I believe if you will communicate us, uh, we, could, we, we could discuss in personal uh what is uh, stated uh in your diploma what is the domain and so on but in general as i have as i have noted the people from engineering uh engineering domain are able uh, are able to join the study program but uh, we need to see will it be a short version of the study program or long version of the study program so uh, I'm not sure, I do not see any more uh, questions. Dmitry, do you see? No? Can you see? No, 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 just a small comment about the full-time students and full-time study. Yeah, I see this uh, uh, a bit confusion here. Yeah, full-time study uh, doesn't mean that you will spend all the day in the Institute. Yeah, and it's of course, you can uh, join these studies with your primary work. And especially in case if you're working with direction which are close directions which are close to data analytics, uh, these studies can be beneficial not only for you, but for for your company for your enterprise, because within some of our projects, some of our courses, you will be able to solve your real working program and work with your data and uh, to make some um, conclude some, some decisions, some advances uh, for, for your company. That's why some our partners are ready to, how to say, sponsor uh, your study in this program and probably your enterprise will be ready to do this too. So just in task this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, Dmitry, thank you very much for your comment. It's uh, it's true. Yes, I know sometimes it's confusing, Dmitry, a full time, and you are starting to think, oh my God, I should sit the whole day. No, 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 no. The full time actually uh, defines how many of credit points you will, uh, you will get uh, during the semester. Okay, but as I have stated, and Dmitry confirmed this one, so our master level students are having classes by the by the evening time so uh they they, they could have a full, a full loading uh in a in a company but i believe it's very useful if uh, exactly uh, for example you could bring your data and you could work on your data and you could demonstrate to your big boss that uh, okay i am doing such kind of interesting things Okay, uh, more questions. Uh, again, uh, you could use your microphone if you would like, or you could use your public chat uh, to write us uh, the message. Uh, 
also not necessary to write the message uh, to everyone. If you have, you know, some private question, uh, so you could use uh, a private private mode. But also, I would like to note that here is the email, here is a phone, a WhatsApp. Uh, so if you have any question, if you have any uh, any question. Uh, regarding the study program, regarding the price, regarding the admission process. So just contact and our admission team will take care about your question. Okay, uh, Dmitry, I see some. Uh, Andre, uh, so the question from Andre uh, is about uh, how the study process is organized for international students. So, uh, Andre, first of all, first of all, I would like to note that, uh, of course, we are expecting that uh, you will come to Latvia, okay? And uh, actually, we are inviting international students to come to Latvia to have uh, to have. Uh, to have um, uh, to have to, to have the study process organized uh, here, but as I have noted, um, uh, as it uh, as I have noted, right now we are conducting uh, some classes, uh, not, not not some classes, but all the classes in a synchronous mode. And uh, some of our international students are joining online, but really it seems that, uh, uh, let's say, the situation uh, with different kinds of limitations and restrictions becomes uh, positive. So we are really expecting, expecting uh, you to come here. Uh, Zita is asking a very important question about accreditation in both countries. Zita, uh, I would like to confirm that the program is accredited. It is accredited uh, here in Latvia. And also we have passed uh, something which is called in UK, a validation process, which is equal to, uh, which is equal to uh, accreditation in Latvia. Uh, Liga, actually, thanks a lot. Liga is asking about what is the uh, deadline, actually, <laughs> uh, to submit. Uh, Liga, we would like to start the, st start, uh, uh, the study by the 1st of the March. I know that it's uh, maybe not so much of uh, time to, uh, to make a decision. Um, uh, to, 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 to make a decision, therefore, uh, a discount is proposed and uh, we will be quite, uh, quite flexible. So you just need to, to state that, uh, okay, I, uh, I need, I don't know, uh, 10, 15 days, yes, to, uh, uh, to, to make a decision, but we could discuss it privately, okay? Uh, Armands is asking about the language. Okay, uh, the language will be English. Okay, the language will be English and only English. Uh, again, I'm very sorry if it's if it's your name or not acronym. Os is asking that for the long study program. Uh, could join the people without IT technical background. Uh, yes, it's correct us. So for the long study program, we are accepting people without IT technical background. Uh, therefore, we are providing a pre-master semester to, you know, to enrich them with, I would say, uh, basic fundamental skills and knowledge. And uh, maybe just, just to continue, um, an explanation why we did this, uh, why, why, why we made a such decision. And uh, also sometimes the people are asking us, is it even possible uh, to complete a such study program who is related with data analytics, artificial intelligence, uh, by the people who do not have IT 
uh, technical background. So uh, actually, there are several reasons, several reasons and several arguments. First of all, um, considering an experience of our partner in UK, UVI, they are providing a such study program for already uh, for a long time, and they have quite good and positive experience. So at least it is possible. So the second point, the second point states the following, that uh, again, data, uh, a computer science field is a very wide one, okay? We are not promising you that you will be a software developer uh, or uh, you will invent a new type of computers or whatever, we are talking about very narrow field, which is related with data analytics and uh, application of artificial intelligence for data analytics tasks. It's the second, the, the second point. And the third point, actually, actually uh, the market by itself. Okay, we really see that data analytics and use of artificial intelligence, it's not already, uh, let's say, uh, it's not the thing which is done only in IT companies. I have mentioned our partner, uh, MSC, who is a logistics company, uh, but again, they have a lot of people, they have a whole department who actually does a lot in data analytics. And here I would like to underline this issue, to emphasize this issue is very important and I be believe it's a great value if your first education is, for example, in economics, in, uh, in a logistics, in a business, in a tourism, or in what, whatever. So you are becoming really a multidisciplinary person and you are able to see a physical meaning behind the data. Because, you know, sometimes IT guys do analysis, but they see the data. I'm not sure, maybe Dmitry could argue me, say, no, 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 it's not correct. But, you know, it's very important to understand, you know, the, the, the background of the data. And therefore, we believe that it is possible. So I believe that I have provided at least three bullets which should confirm uh, the position. Of course, I could uh, even state, uh, you know, a fourth point, which is very formal one, that the program is accredited in Latvia. So the expert and uh, the board, uh, the specific board accepted our, uh, our say, uh, our program. So they see, uh, they see that it is possible, but this one is a very formal, okay? So I hope also that I have answered your question. Okay, uh, yeah, guys, just a, short, we... yeah, just a short note from me, Oscar. Yeah, um, actually, yeah, absolutely agree with uh, Mikhail. Yeah, and uh, especially taking into account the fact that my first degree is in economics. Yeah, the second degree is uh, more technical and more related to development of the models. So I can consider this as an example. And uh, another supporting fact that the best programmer I even know has the historical education yeah, as, a, as a primary education. So uh, your diploma, yeah, if you mean by background, your diploma, uh, not so important yeah, as an uh, entrance requirement for, for this program. But uh, you need to have some knowledge and you need to have an interest in this field. You need to uh, hmm, let's say, uh, some enthusiasm about learning how to program this, how to, do, to work with data. And if you have this enthusiasm uh, after the pre-master semester, I hope education will be successful. Yeah. Um, so Ilona is asking to repeat, um, okay. Uh, Ilona, I will not repeat, I will just demonstrate the slide. So as I have stated, uh, as I have stated, uh, a price per semester is indicated here. Yes, uh, but for, uh, so you could calculate a price 
here to four semesters if we are talking about long uh, version of a study program, but you should consider that the first semester will go with a significant discount, okay? Uh, Oscar, I will open you one secret, okay? Uh, after our meeting, everyone who did the registration for uh for our uh, for our uh secret presentation uh will we will receive the email which explains how to redeem the discount okay at least the marketing department promised me it <laughs> if if not you could communicate us and uh, uh, we will solve the issue okay and we will solve the issue Mm -hmm. Okay, more questions. I believe uh, I believe that uh, Dmitry, we should wait for a while. People are thinking, so it's very well. Actually, it's cool when the people are having some uh, some questions. Uh, maybe while uh, while uh, you are thinking about the questions. Uh, maybe as a continuation to Ilona, uh, Ilona's question, so about the price and about the accreditation, uh, as, the pro uh, as the program is accredited in Latvia, of course, you are eligible to receive a study credit from, uh, from, from, from the bank. Yes, and it's again, it's fully, uh, fully, uh, fully eligible. Uh, also, uh, another option, which is not demonstrated here, because it's, again, it's uh, uh, very, you know, narrow details, uh, of course, you are able to, uh, to, 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 do the, to do the payments by months, okay, so uh, it is possible. Uh, yes, Eva, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for a question, a very important one. So uh, actually, for a double degree study pro st study programs, uh, we are considering to not have more than fifteen people per group. Okay, but of course, it's not uh, it's not the law. But again, considering the experience of the UV, okay, uh, we. Uh, we we are we, we are we are trying to form the groups to have them you know not one thousand people who are sitting in the auditorium. Okay, we are talking about about the master degree. Uh, Roberts. Uh, Thanks a lot. Uh, thanks a lot for the question. Sorry, there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of sentences. So, bitch. Mm -hmm. uh, Roberts, I, be I, I believe we need to communicate. Uh, let's say. Uh, face, face to face to see to, to, to see the diplomas, okay, uh, about your previous pre previous education, and in this case, uh, uh, we, we we could make the decision because Dmitry, could you see a degree in math and statistics actually uh, qu quite close uh, domain to data uh, data analytics and artificial intelligence. Uh, Robert, this one is discussable. Again, we need to see uh, we need to see all the things around. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. So of course, this is very close, and this is like some background for this thing. Yeah. The only question which we actually want to discuss is: uh, Do you really know how to uh, apply the math and statistic tools using Python and use some programming technique techniques? Because this is necessary to to know to go to the uh, short to the main master program, 
And if you are comfortable with this, uh, probably the answer will be uh, yes, uh, you can go to a short program. Mm -hmm. Yes, but Robert, uh, as, I, as I have stated, this one is already, you know, uh, a very detailed question. So we need to see your documents and uh, we are able to make the decision. Right now, at least according to what Dmitry stated and you wrote in, in, in the chat, it seems that uh, it could be the possibility to join the short version of a study program. But again, we need to see, we need to speak with you, okay? Yeah, and one more note about number of students in the group. Yeah, there are some uh, projects yeah, within our master program. And uh, of, for example, in this interdisciplinary project and uh, within this project, you work in a very small groups of two or three people mm -hmm. on a very specific problem, uh, probably from, from your company or from our partners. And uh, of course, in this case, uh, the study process will be even more personal. Yeah. Thank you very much, Dmitry. Very, very, very valuable comment. Okay, guys. More questions, more, more comments. Mm -hmm. Okay, while, uh, while, while the people are thinking, uh, again, I would like to repeat you that, uh, of course, of course, uh, you would like to know what is inside, uh, what is inside each course, inside uh, each module, because, you know, the title is the title. Yes, yeah, so again, we are expecting that, that by the beginning of, uh, um, of the next week, it will be published an information what is inside each course and you will have an ability to uh, to read and uh, catch the issue uh, but uh, but sorry uh, but in general of course as i have stated dmitry confirmed the program is very targeted uh, by 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 uh, to, to the industry and therefore the things which have been recommended uh, to us by uh, by our industrial business partner uh, they have been considered and Dmitry already mentioned a python of course uh, sql and no sql uh, of course, the tools which are related with uh, uh, business intelligence. Uh, at least, uh, at least we are planning to use a tablet as uh, as uh, as let's say a software solution to get to get the practical skills. But again, as I have stated, the information will be published. Yeah, and uh, about this information about courses. Yeah, uh, as uh, Mikhail mentioned, we uh, adapted and adopted some courses from our partners from uh, University of West England. And uh, it's easy to find the description of these courses. Probably it's uh, half of these all, all the courses in specialization on data analytics and artificial intelligence. And uh, it's possible to find the official description of these courses, how they are presented in UVI. So to get acknowledged with uh, the content, of course, we will deliver uh, links to these courses from Uvi together with our own description. Yes. Um... Um... That's uh, this one is really very complicated question, uh, really, really, really complicated question because of course it depends, uh, it depends very, 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 very much from your previous education, from your previous skills, from your motivation. Of course, I uh, I could answer you in a very formal way that uh, according to the Latvian uh, system. Each credit point, uh, which I have presented, okay, has some number of contact hours and uh, an hours for independent study, 
and of course our courses are planned according uh, according to this formal uh, formal requirements but uh, really really it's uh, it's a bit uh, let's say a complex question to answer let me give you an example um so two latvian credit points uh actually uh actually means that 40 hours uh, so so uh, yeah <laughs> sorry <laughs> too much of speaking for, for today yes uh, uh dmitry could correct me but two credit points in latvia actually means that it should be dedicated 80 hours to com to complete the course okay and for the master uh, uh for the master uh, level study study program uh, two credit points actually means uh, that it will be 24 contact hours so with, with, with the teacher and the rest is uh, for independent study so but uh, that's a please believe me that this one is a very formal answer to your question but again it depends very much uh, from your previous experience, from your previous education, from again a lot of things. Uh, tests, yeah. Il yeah. Ilona. J j just to say that uh, about all these calculations, yeah, usually per semester we have uh, 20 uh, hours or to 20 credit points, letter and credit points. It's more or less similar to 20 hours per week of study. So mm -hmm. if you are ready to spend 20 hours per week. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, in average, of course. Everything depends on. Yes, on, thank on your you. Background and your... Yeah, thank you, Dmitry, for helping me. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, Ilona is asking how to pass tests and exam online. Um, Ilona, I would state uh, again the, the, the following that in general, uh, in general, of course, we would like to see you here in a university. And uh, in this case, uh, exams and tests uh, will be conducted, let's say, uh, here in a, in, a, in a university, in a room. But usually, usually the exams and tests we 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 are we 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 are conducting. Okay, not maybe usually. Uh, no, usually is a correct word, Dmitry, uh, use, use, using computers because the field, the domain by itself is related with, with, with a computer. Of course, right now when we had an issue with a COVID, vaccinated, not vaccinated people, uh, it, uh, it was possible to conduct uh, exams and tests in uh, online mode. Of course, with some, you know, additional condition, <laughs> conditions, I would say. Um, but uh, yes, in general, again, Ilona, everything depends very much from the decisions uh, of a government. If, if we will say uh, that, okay, that's it. Everyone should go back uh, to face-to-face -face study. Uh, this one will be possible. But again, as I have stated, as we are involving international staff, even if the government made decision that everyone should go back, uh, even in this case, some of the classes will be conducted in, uh, in uh, online mode because, again, it's still a problem to travel. And uh, in general, I believe that... Uh, uh, it is possible to provide some of the uh, courses modules in online mode, uh, having not every class face to face. Yes, Dmitry, but you know, like each third class, uh, uh, the student should come to us. <laughs> the rest could be online again. But it depends really. It depends really very much from the situation. Yeah, and I would like to mention that this is a master program. And usually the exams are quite specific for master program. The majority of courses are devoted to uh, to development of your own project or your own course or your presentation. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is not like a bachelor level exam with uh, all this uh, cheating and exact definitions. It's actually a presentation of your own work. And nowadays, uh, we all present our work remotely 
with more or less similar success to what we have face to face. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, everything depends on. Yes, yes, Dmitry, it's true. It's uh, really the things, the thing which differs bachelor level and master level. So in a master level, you should you should apply. Um, you know, brains to express your opinion, to demonstrate your critical thinking, to demonstrate your skills. And uh, the cheating in this case is, uh, let's say, quite complicated. <laughs> yes, but it's true, Dmitry. It's, uh, it's really true what you have stated. Um, maybe, uh, Dmitry, I would like to pay attention to the previous uh, text from the uh, about uh, again about uh, again about the timing. Uh, that's uh, as 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 we has to have stated. Usually, we are trying to plan that uh, one day in a week uh, would uh, would would be free to to, to do the work, and uh, also the deadlines uh, in frame of courses. Uh, of course, we are not, but in a week you should complete, I don't know, uh, some big, big project. So usually it's a work which should be completed during several months. So you, you are able to plan your time. Yes, and you are able to, com to, to complete it. Yeah, and in several courses, we have some quite strict requirements with deadlines. But the deadlines are not so close. It's not something that you need to do today and only today. Usually we put these deadlines uh, upward so you can organize your work in a flexible manner. And uh, we understand the uh, majority, I think all our students are working people and they have their own loading. So if we will be able to plan their time and find uh, time during the day off or weekend or at night or doing the uh, projects and uh, mm, tasks yeah it will be absolutely okay yeah and uh, it's nothing what you need to do on a daily basis mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um Yes, Ilona. Um, Ilona, could I, could I make a joke? <laughs> um, your question is very optimistic. <laughs> yeah, but uh, again, uh, sorry, it was it was just just a joke. So, uh, Ilona, the story regarding if the exam is not passed. So, uh, first of all, as I have mentioned. Uh, um, we are following the UK quality standards, meaning that uh, if you have completed a project or a presentation or whatever, in this case, we, we, are, collecting, we are collecting all your works, uh, we are collecting evaluation and feedbacks from, uh, from the teaching staff. Uh, this one is sent to the University of West of Finland. They are checking, rechecking, uh everything next it will uh be conducted some uh something which is called over board where all the results will be discussed one more time so and if the over board uh recognized that you have uh you have you, you you have failed the course so this one is um uh, we, 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 this one is um, again maybe a, a little a little of difference because usually uh, in frame of double degree study program we are talking about uh, not failing the exam by itself but failing the specific elements. For example, you uh, didn't provide some course uh, coursework or, or whatever, so you are eligible to pass the exam. And you just, if some element uh, failed, you just need to, uh, let me use a word repass, but actually the people in UK are using a word receipt uh, a specific element so you just need to complete them and the procedure is the procedure is the following one again here we are following uk rules that uh, that it will be 
a dedicated uh, reset uh, week in a in a schedule of so in a schedule of students and during the reset week you need to uh, you need to complete the things which you have failed or you didn't pass okay uh dmitry eva is writing uh is yeah. writing yeah, I see. Um, uh, yeah, about, I see. about the master thesis could you uh say a few notes about yeah, yeah i can provide a couple of examples on our master thesis by the way tomorrow we're expecting a defense defense of our new masters and uh, the example phases which we are expecting for example is uh, reinforcement uh, learning of uh, policies for a legged robot so this is uh, application of uh, learning procedures to uh, to to a robot to provide him with ability to, uh, to to move like a dog or like a horse yeah so it's uh, one example in this area it's more technical uh, master phases another master phases is related to application of artificial intelligence for a referee system in uh, figure skating. Yeah, this is uh, very actual after today's Olympics. Yeah, and uh, this is also not one application of uh, one area of application of artificial intelligence and data analytics is uh, sports. Yeah, and sport analytics and uh, reference system in particular. Yeah, in this uh, example. And uh, of course, we accept uh, and uh, successfully students successfully defend phases, which are closely related to their own business needs, development of uh, some tools, some machine learning tools for solving the uh, uh, problems of uh, optimization, uh, which are quite business specific, for example, uh, in area of uh, software development, yeah, for analyzing uh, tests or in other not so technical areas. So mm -hmm. it's quite a wide range of topics here. Yes, really, and maybe I would like just to add uh, several uh, several several examples. Of course, uh, the things which are related with business intelligence solutions, designing, uh, planning such of the solutions, uh, finding out the right the, the right technologies. Uh, selection, evaluation of uh, di different uh, tools, models which could be applicable for this one. This one is also in frame of uh, of uh, of a, um, study program domain. Okay. Wow. Uh, Laura, yes. So, so, okay, sorry, everyone. I, it was <laughs> a lot of text from Laura, but uh, I believe that uh, question is a very vivid. So, Laura, I am confirming, yes, that if you are eligible to join a long version of a study program, as I have demonstrated, and we could talk personally once more to see to to, to see your documents after the pre-master semester, you are joining the core of the study program, okay? You are joining the double degree study program. But at, but at the end, for pre-master, you will have exams on this pre-master course where we will evaluate yeah, your knowledge. Yeah, but uh, that's why we, we don't need to organize another evaluation. Okay. Yeah, of course, of course, it's like, yes, have a good evening, Laura. Okay. Uh, you know, Dmitry, we should propose to uh, the developers of the Zoom to have, you know, like the indication that someone is typing because you know no one is <laughs> no one is using microphone so everyone is typing but right now i'm confused <laughs> uh, should we uh, should we uh, end the meeting because really uh, really we have uh, already how much yes Dmitry, we have spent one hour and a half but i believe the meeting was very productive 
two academic hours. By the ah, way, all yes. our time is in academic <laughs> hours. Okay, Dmitry. It, seem, it seems because we are we have a teaching staff, Dmitry. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, Ilona, I believe it is possible, or uh, or by email, or even we uh, we will publish it in uh, uh, in our webpage. In any case, we will we, we will find out how to deliver you the presentation. Uh, yes, uh, Dmitry, you see, uh, Christiana from our marketing department wrote that actually the seven minute. <laughs> Uh, okay, guys, we have seven minutes. Uh, and about this presentation, yeah, I think it's published, it's uh, uh, translated to YouTube in live mode, so it will be published and you will be able to review this. If, if oh, everything is recorded, Dmitry. <laughs> yeah. I have provided so much jokes. That's it. Yes, okay, so... Uh, at least as far as I could see the people are leaving, uh, leaving the meeting. Again, we would like to uh, thank you all of you that you have spent uh, one and a half hour with us, with me, with, with, with Dmitry. I believe that the information we have provided, not only in the presentations, but also during answers to your questions was useful. Again, if you have some issues, just, uh, just communicate with us. We will speak personally with you and we will try to find out the solution and we will provide you the best recommendation what, uh, what is possible in your, uh, in your situation. Thanks a lot, Dmitry. Thank you very much for helping yeah. me. Yeah. Thank, it you. Was thank you, Michael. My pleasure. thank you, Michael. My pleasure. For all the for all listeners for coming and looking forward to see you in the CE soon and as a student or just to discuss uh, this very emerging topics yeah of course of course mm -hmm. okay christiana that's it uh, we have completed uh, um, most probably we i will stop share dmitry yes and that's it and uh, it seems that we should press leave dmitry Okay. Dmitry, one more time, thanks a lot and bye-bye. Have a good evening.